Feeding the world 7 billion people is no easy task. Some people are advocating for genetically modified organisms or GMOs as one of the solutions for the demand for food. Just like this piece of maize. But GMOs are hugely controversial. There aren't just different rules for different types of GMOs. Different rules are also in place for the food that humans eat and for animal feed. A GMO is an organism which scientists have altered by introducing alien genes or by modifying a plant's genetic structure. The process generates proteins that give the modified organism new properties. Proponents of GMOs argue the main benefit is higher productivity. Then resistance to pests, rodents and disease, which they say in turn reduces the need for pesticides. GMOs, they say, could also increase the capacity of plants to deal with harsh weather. Opponents argue GMOs present unknown perils to humans, animals and biodiversity. They say vital agricultural pollinators such as bees or butterflies are threatened. Genetically modified crops become resistant to weed killer, forcing farmers to use more and more, which in turn kills other vegetation and wildlife. They also say GMOs can contaminate and mutate wild plants, and they're concerned that farmers get locked into buying seed from GMO companies. Europe allows GMOs, but currently less than 1% of its arable land is being used for their cultivation, and that too only in five countries. Spain, Portugal, Slovakia, Romania and the Czech Republic. At the moment, there is only one GMO under cultivation in Europe, MON810, an insect-resistant maize or corn. However, 40 GMO-based products are being imported, like soya used for animal feed. Every GMO product must be clearly labelled, except when its GMO content falls beneath 0.9%. The last decade has seen a lot of argument and division between member states over the rules covering the cultivation of GMOs. But the EU has now agreed on a new way forward. Member states can now restrict or ban the cultivation of GMOs if they're believed to have a socio-economic impact, such as affecting countryside planning or agricultural practices. The scientific assessment conducted purely on a public health and scientific basis remains within the remit of the European Food Safety Authority. If EU members elect for GMOs, they can then decide whether to grow GM and non-GM crops side by side and determine the distances between them. Currently, they vary from five to 600 meters. Separately, discussions are underway on whether member states can restrict or ban entirely the sale and use of GMO food and feeds on their territory. Amongst the issues at stake, the free movement of goods across internal borders.